didn't create the issue. Um, yeah, uh, also just intending to be here, be present, um, nothing specific, really. Uh, Griff? Yep, no strong intentions, just hanging out, um, more, um, uh, probably distracted by making some issues in the DAP and in comms, and, uh, there's a bunch of Oregon DAC, uh, financial stuff I have to like sort out and so i'm gonna do that or i'm gonna work on that a little bit while i'm also doing this so i'll be distracted there but and then after that there's a griff riff so i'm also distracted by i'm um, coordinating with austin griffith who's gonna hang out at the at the, my crypto house so um i'll pass it to, uh, I'll pass it to michael hey everybody uh, back from the dead, I guess. Uh, and uh, <laughs> uh, no, happy to see everybody. Uh, not as distracted as I was last week, I must say. And uh, uh, hanging out in the snowy uh, Montreal today. It's very frigid and cold, so I uh, hope everyone is warmer than I am here. And I'll pass it over to Josh. Yeah. Hey, um so yeah chris just to let you know i'm getting a notification of the stream but um yeah uh, my intent is just to listen in find out what's going on uh to further compile uh griff's tutorial thing but it cracked up yeah anyway um i'm listening in so that's it right, pass it to kate hey guys um yeah i just uh I, we have a screaming baby over there it's distracting me a little she's not as satisfied as she was uh one week ago um i'm here to i haven't been to a comms meeting in two weeks so let's see if, what's up here for tasks and stuff i like your outfit danny and yeah uh i don't know who, who went uh so danny please as you say, I think I'm the last one. Um, I am here. I just did a little filter on my anything that I'm assigned to in the comms repo so I can speak to any of those and make get caught up on those items, get them updated. Um, I'm not distracted at all. And um, yeah, so the, my intentions are just to help myself focus on what I'm working on. That's all I got. I'll pass it back to you, Chris, I think.
Yeah. Um, I looked into that a year ago, can do again. I had the feeling that it, that it needed more work, but maybe it's uh, been better. Uh, in the meantime, I suggest to have like a dedicated streamer at the meetings who records in OBS uh, just for the week or the next week. Uh, I don't know, but I'll, I'll look into it, yeah. Yeah, I mean, honestly, today is probably the best day. Uh, what time zone are you in, Josh? Uh, it's currently 12 minutes past 5 in the UK. 5 p.m.? Yep. Okay. Uh, how late How late would you be down to do this? I am a night owl, so I'm glad you're not asking about the morning. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah. Well, you're in the right time zone to be a night owl. Um, yes. I'm fine. <laughs> yeah. I'm flying to Singapore, and I think we'll be like running around to get to the airport at um, probably seven o'clock our time, which is West Coast time. So that's like, so pretty much, and then I do this script for, how about in, what time is it now, nine? Would six hours be too late for you from now? No, yeah, that sounds about right. That's like 11 o'clock, isn't it? Yeah. That's cool. Yeah, that's just more, more than fine. Oh, yeah. perfect. Okay. Perfect. Yeah, so let's make a, an appointment for six, six hours from now. Okay, so 11 p. Um, meet Griff. Yep, and for me, that's what? 3, 3 p.m. 3 p.m. Yeah, 3 p.m. This time. Yeah, I had a quick chat with, uh, well, I had an hour's chat with Jeff the other day and caught up on all that stuff, which is really cool. Uh, wrote that up in the evening. Um, but yeah, then I kind of started tacking on bullets of what else I've kind of got awareness of in the galaxy. And uh, yeah, that's going to be a really, really long letter. Actually, it's starting to look like if, if it goes on at length. But I'll share it in the side anyway, if you want to have a look. But it's happening away otherwise. Yeah, and it'd be cool to live stream or um, just like have a video of it anyway. Uh, yeah.
uh, of, uh, of the chat later, you know? Or That's will you... transparency. Yeah. And you can, you can put a you can put it in the in you can add it into the post if you want, but. Yeah, and I haven't actually gotten confirmation that they can do it. I can't do it at 7 p.m. Yeah, he told me that he made the changes to the um, meeting on there, but I see the changes actually didn't take place. And I realized that I sent the new meeting invitation to the wrong place, that it's not a dot, it's giveth, D-O-T-I-O. So, um, yeah. Uh, and I do have a line to Wojtek right now. He's working uh, w with the Crypto Christmas folks, uh, but you know, he's at the BitConf right now. Mm -hmm. Okay. And great. And but Griff, you can't do it at seven, but you can do eight. Um no, I can do it like seven fifteen or seven thirty. Okay. But this will be late. Okay. Michael, you're good for that time? Yeah, is yeah. are they still doing the, the the parallel meeting right after that, or is that? No, is I'm gonna say, like, I, I think we need to just do one today. Is what it sounds like, especially with everybody's schedules. Okay. Yeah, honestly, it might not even work out for me. At least we'll see. Uh, I'm juggling a lot of like mm, mm, the Argon DAC has like a lot of financial uh, stuff to talk with with. Uh, the association today and i'm trying to juggle their schedules and it's 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 hard well like i said they're at la bitcon so having this for you <laughs> um so if we need to find yeah, a different we, this week we can do that maybe what if we went asynchronous and we just like did it via chat yeah i'm fine with that okay and we can yeah i, I think that would be easier anyway and then we can get Michael. Is Michael in our DAP team? Yeah, he's in the DAP core channel. So, yeah. so we'll just do the meeting inside there. Okay. Um, I think we're not. I think we're going to skip this meeting this week as well, if that's okay. Because, uh, yeah, I'm flying to Singapore tomorrow, and I'm just, like, so confused on what time zone I'm going to be in. I'm trying to figure all these things out. Yeah.
Um, no, keep them issues coming. Uh, and if you uh, think of features or would like to have something implemented, uh, you can post it as well on the repo. <laughs> it was great actually we had a really warm reception i just didn't i just got stuck in brazil so i wasn't able to make in person a lot of them but first and last one the middle three i wasn't i wasn't allowed to fly to their countries Oh, nice. Yeah. Um, Danny, Kai, go vote on Chris. I just did. Oh, you did. Okay, good. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Um, so I actually responded to if it's the issues that I think you're talking about. Where like Jessica was suggesting video tutorials and stuff. Um, yeah, I put like a thorough response on there that at this point in the process, we have seven people in the application status, it's enough to manage right now. And um, Unicorn DAC is like it's for people who are extremely dedicated to give it. And so like the hurdle of like kind of weeding through even finding out about it, reading the documentation on the wiki, like finding out who to contact. I see those as like sort of necessary. It's like a filter. It's acting as a filter right now. Uh, and there's, there's, plenty of robust documentation on the wiki on how to become a part of the unicorn DAC. So it's like, if you can't find that, then you're not ready to be. In it. That's where I see that. I don't think the page that's like perfectly written up. So yeah, I, I agree with Murray. People can't find that. Um, that's the <laughs> instructions there in front of you. There are some <laughs> some things though. Like I really like that that like spirit of like this motivation to want to make awesome, like really digestible tutorials and stuff. Like I I put that in my response too. Like it would be awesome to have that for roles process, maybe for for milestone making or reviewing once we get things a little more nailed down in the DAP. Like I would love to see and be a part of and support anyone who wants to make video tutorials or whatever, but there are some other projects that are way more ready for that than <clears throat> still working on that um i'm hoping to have have a kind of updated version by by hopefully by by sunday monday <clears throat> i've got a little as you saw, i got a little distracted last week but uh that's my top priority really
I I want to give that a big thumbs up. Yes, that's the point of the tool is to be able to be used in all of the different corners of the galaxy. We did, and Kai has set it up, and I have barely touched it yet. Um, I definitely hope to have that done before we chat again next Wednesday. And um, yeah, so once I get some things set up and configured and upload data from our spreadsheets, we'll have some data in there and the fields laid out, and then we can look at how different different purposes um, can work and get everybody else trained on it. It's called Sweet CRM, S-U-I-T-E. This is an email you, you're looking to for where to send by email addresses or formal communication. Um, sorry, I was distracted by researching the GT. <laughs> um, I I made like a, I think it's like a third of the videos, uh, close to half that are on there already. Uh, I haven't put up many because I wanted to see how um, Bowen and Josh do with the audio. Uh, if we can, because it would be would make more sense to put the audio, a, a better version of the audio there. Um, yeah, I also did not get much feedback for when I asked if we should release them like this. Nobody said anything, so I, I'm still unsure. I will, yeah, what to do. Uh, because now the audio seems to go its own path with the Decentral podcast, which is new in the meantime. Yeah. So I'm, I'm, I don't know how to proceed. Like uh, there's this, these few videos that we, uh, that are on the channel already. And they're, but they're just unlisted, but we can uh, set them on private, but uh, yeah. So I, 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 I don't know how how feasible it is to put those videos up. It takes considerable time as well. So it's, um, I, but I can do the rest, of course. No, no, at this point, I would let it go, uh, uh, personally, because I, I feel like there's a real strong time relevance to this kind of information. While it might be interesting, but in December, it's, it's too late, in my opinion, uh, but, that's okay. Uh, we can. Uh, Bowen is killing it on the podcast. He's finding interesting content and editing it and having fun with it. So um, we can go that route. And, you know, uh, we'll take this. I think we should just take this fail and, and carry forward for next year and, and remember. Yeah. I mean, I tried my best on the ground and afterwards, but I, I even have to say, uh, uh, video is not the best idea. It's something like Burning Man, even with the whole culture, uh, doing podcasts and making sure that we get the 
best audio possible is probably the better way in this going forward anyway. I I totally agree. And that was, uh, yeah, the, for me, the video is always just a bonus if it works. Yeah. You did not, you did not manage. It's still working fine. <laughs> Damn it. It's so great, man. It's so great. Chris, uh, just a question on how are how is content being collected? Do you know, like, um, like is there an expectation that that everyone would be, like, say, Griff is you know in South America and meets some interesting people, or in Singapore, um, should is everybody going to be doing uh, interview, or is it going to be with Bowen mostly, who's going to sort of Introduce people. How? Yeah. Well, the, the main the main barrier here is they have a very high quality uh, requirement. For sound. Um, Josh is an audio engineer, and Bowen's done this for a while, and they feel it's very important that we have really high quality sound. So, like a random like meeting would not make the cut. You know, this is so like around like uh, use Bowen wants a. A actual audio like mic for people to use <laughs> before they even do the interview and that's like how they if they do start doing interviews that's how they want to go do, do they want to do the interviews like would they rather us refer them for the interviewee to them or it's a mix it's so definitely i, 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 I think I, high quality audio equipment too. I have a, you know, $300 mic and all that stuff, but yeah. I don't know, for consistency, maybe it's nice to have one host that kind of you go through with the, with the viewer or the, or the listener. They're trying to do like multiple series. They're starting straight away with a network, you know? And so like the web three summit is one series. Decentral is another series. If you wanted to do a podcast series, you could totally do it. The only requirement is that it has really high quality audio. Right. Yeah, I think that's great. And it's got to be on something decentralized, surely. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's the magic, right? It's very decentral. It's a decentralized podcast. So it uh, should be open. It's just that one bar. Okay. That's been, like, so for example, like this event that I'm trying to help organize in February. Part of it could be a series of high quality interviews with not for profits and people in the social impact space, for example. So, Absolutely. And I don't know if, you know, I would do that. I, I definitely would be interested to do that. But I'd also, if Bowen wants to help with that, can certainly um, play. I know he's got a great audio voice. Yeah, he does. Yeah. I think Bowen would be interested. Uh, you should talk to him about that. 
Yeah. Like a worthwhile thing to do anyway. So if if that's the case, why not do it and then talk to him and see how he feels it fits and you coordinate, you know? Yeah. It's definitely worth doing for sure, regardless. Uh, just that it's something worth doing anyway. So um, it, it's worth Mike interviewing these people to capture their thoughts in the space and coordinating. Whether or not it's the podcast or not, it's still worth doing. So, you know. My little Mike. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Chris, can I ask one question? Uh, just going back, I, I missed the opportunity earlier. Um, just on the CRM, uh, is, do you know if the, the CRM, <clears throat> the Suite CRM, has, it has the mailing list feature built into it, or is it the export the names to some other platform? Like, does Giveth have? a mailing list, a newsletter kind of feature, kind of like you see. Uh, the reason I ask is because I know with uh, mass mailings, um, you get blocked a lot unless you have like special sort of mailing list software that, you know, doesn't treat it like spam. So is that what the Sweet CRM has built into it or is it separate? And then the second question is, I also noticed that we have Zoho, I guess, which is also a CRM, but is it only used for that for a very specific purpose then? Okay. Uh I don't, so I did not do, I, I was really, when I was doing the research, I was reading what other people say of services. And um, the difference is that I did not find anything in Soho how to export the whole data set uh, and make it like use it again. Uh, and with SuitCRM, this is all open, like you can uh, back up your database and push it to a new instance. Uh, that is just one of the things that I thought would be better. Uh, uh, in terms of practicability, I don't know. I, I would really hope, because I also don't have any prior knowledge of what a CRM system could do. I just try to go by popular reviews. Um, and uh, Dani, who had used some, said it was OK to use or even good. So. I, I, I would hope that anybody who really wants to use it uh, takes a dive and yeah. just checks it out. And also, like, uh, yeah, maybe, yeah, maybe Donnie can help us uh, going down the road when she has set it up herself. Yeah, we've decided against the Zoho solution. It does have an additional per user fee, and it does not have anywhere near the robustness. Nor did we expect that Zoho mail would be a long-term solution for us. Um, okay, yeah, that makes sense. And and just so I know, like with myself, I guess by, by priority, <clears throat> if there's an open source solution, that would be the priority versus say, um, a, you know, a software as a service, which is closed source. Is, would that be our, I mean, I'm, that would be my preference personally, but I don't know. If that's anytime, true. yeah, anytime. Unanimous okay. then. Yeah, the only tough decision, Michael, um, there is another one out there, and it's Civi CRM, and it's a great app. It's I, I've seen it in use by nonprofits um, yeah. and built for nonprofits, so it doesn't. If we had gone that way, it would have required as much customization for our particular organizational intentions. 
Yeah. However, it's, it's, it's old. It's written on Drupal and some other things um, that are not preferable from a backend perspective. Yeah, okay. Um, I, can, I can maybe just talk Unicorn DAC. Um, pretty soon, Lorelei will get these. Uh, the, the DAP has been really difficult to work with this week. So it's been hard to actually get the mouse, get the stuff up. But um, we are, we have the milestones sitting there uh, that will hopefully get donated to. Uh, but first, I have to donate a bunch of money to the DAP. Uh, once the unicorn, so the, the the roadmap right now is the unicorn DAC gets created. I donate money in Kai's name, in my own name, and in Chris's name. And then, uh, assuming Chris's vote passes, and then uh, and then we also create a unicorn DAC campaign. And uh, after that, uh, we fund milestones. But we need more milestones to fund. Uh, there really aren't that many out there. So uh, ideally, we're using these donations to push Giveth forward more than we're donating to other nonprofits on our on our space because this is the main source now. Uh, like, uh, and uh, it's like cascading across the space right now lots of uh there's just not very much money i'm having a lot of trouble getting grants i'm having a lot of trouble getting funds for other other projects so it's crypto winter so we just have to remember that the resources are limited and we need and we need to have that mindset a little bit uh and hopefully we can do some pre-planning and start just in general like Bring a culture of like creating milestones in advance so that they can be funded uh and then and then based off of what our dac our decentralized governance model decides you know uh that's the kind of direction that we go as a community and so but to do that we need to start creating milestones in advance with ideas and seeing you know if they get funded Maybe definitely a different tab, definitely a different tab. If you want to yeah. use the same sheet, just a different tab. Because that sheet is so that Lorelei can stay organized otherwise. But yeah, Chris, that's a great idea. And that's like, we can also talk about that in the unicorn meetings, which now that we actually have some unicorns, we should have a first unicorn meeting. And I'll put out um, a doodle poll for the first time for that. Probably will be, um, Ne definitely not before next week like probably when we're in thailand after yeah. all of the crazy travel settles down a little bit
I, like Justin, I know Sloan actually now off the top of my head. Um, I've been trying to make notes on the governing the cobbles book, so if that suits the purposes, so be happy enough to create a milestone for turning it into you know five pages rather than two hundred or whatever it is. As far as overfunding the milestone, uh, you need to add that as part of the milestone, right? Add another thing that's like, you know, currency fluctuation or something like, but like you have to add a space for it to be overfunded because that in eventually that feature will be implemented, but we're still working on the smart contracts. So it'll be a while. Yeah, exactly. Oh, and also, you know, it's uh, it's one of these things where it's better. It's just better if the funding comes in before the work starts, right? That's just a better strategy, uh, a more robust strategy in in crypto winter. Well, um, yeah, sure. Uh, I'll, I'll add it into the system when we can kind of iterate on that. I've not, I've not done a milestone yet. I have no idea how the process goes. It looks fairly simple looking at the wiki, but the danger, et cetera. So. Bless. Um. No, I mean, we're, I don't know, we're kind of just in process now. I'm going to put out that meeting time and there's also going to, we're going to try and squeeze in more frequent roles meetings, especially some alternating ones that are okay for Asia time people, so especially Lansky can never make it. Um, so. Yeah, there was a thing in the wiki as well, Loie, that I was actually meant to follow up with you because it said something about a roles meeting every two weeks or a check in two weeks before, and uh, I was just wondering how how um, how current that. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, like the check in. Yeah, yeah, definitely. We had in all in all of the previous decisions, it was like, oh, we'll have a meeting once a month, um, <clears throat> but at the last meeting pretty much everybody agreed they wanted it more frequently um so if we were to do it every two weeks this time that would be in the middle of griff and i's like fucking 48 hours of flying or something um but uh so i'm gonna i'm gonna put up some times for next week um and then is there um, a calendar event that I could link to and then maybe remove the every two weeks part? Because if I can link to the roles meeting event, then people can find it on the cal and see how periodic it actually is.
Uh, okay, well, I've got the. I don't the think calendar. I actually made um, a recurring monthly for that, even though we decided that in the. No, I know, but, but I'm saying I don't think I invited the Giveth calendar to the, a monthly roles meeting. I just made one an individual one for last month, but I will do that right now. And yeah. Job. Yeah, maybe, maybe do the one in advance and then you can edit that every time we hit the one in advance so that it stays on the calendar and changes to the correct date every time it hits, if that makes sense. Um, sorry, I missed um, that. Put it in the calendar as a one-off, and then when we get to that roles meeting date and have the roles meeting within the meeting or before or after it, you would click on that same meeting tile in calendar and then just change the date to wherever the next roles meeting may occur. Um, yeah, I mean, it's cool. I'm just going to create this monthly one for the time that we already agreed upon. Um, the Thursdays after Gov, third Thursdays, but then as far as like the alternate time that works for Asia, we'll probably fiddle around with that, maybe try it out once or twice before we decide on the recurring time. So yeah, maybe for that one, we'll employ that. We got the first 5k and yeah yeah you can close the issue we'll we'll get yep the second that we can actually donate with that, we'll get the the last bit in i'm also using it as a incentive for the dap team to actually make sure that we have a working dap and die at the same time if any of you have issues with the DAP the way it is, we have we have the incentivization structure that, um, and and after that we lose that a little bit. So now is the moment to get our bug fixes, bug fixing requests in. Yes. Wow, your screen likes me. <laughs> um, yeah, got some good little action items here from this meeting. Um, thanks guys for being here. And um, oh, did we mention in this meeting that Gov is not happening? Yeah, I yeah. think we'll just can. Yeah, because well, unless you guys want to have a governance yeah, exactly. meeting without That's... us, totally please do. But Griff and I are like so hardcore flying from for the next like two days. And then after that, it's really intense like hackathon time. So it's not doesn't really make sense even to postpone the Gov meeting. Like for us, we'll just be we'll be there next week. If you guys want to have it, you can, but <laughs> 
Yeah, we just don't, I just don't understand what it's going to look like being in that time zone and, and what it's going to look like when we land. So, uh, I know. Well, I hope, I know. <laughs> yeah, I'm literally losing, like, the sixth doesn't exist for us. You'll have, we'll have to do it in the airplane. I think they have Wi Fi in Singapore Airlines if you're taking that one. <laughs> yeah, I mean, actually, that's that I have done before, and and uh, like actually, when you're in the air, yeah, like, and uh, yeah, oh, sure. okay. yeah, if we have Wi-Fi, but that's such a that's that's a let's, let me see, I can look. And this happened before, like when we remember the day before, or like while we're on the airplane. I I remember sending out emergency. I we're gonna miss the government. We're on China Airlines. Oh. No, there, there weren't any Lumios. That's not true. Kai put up a Lumio. Oh, he did. The addition of die or the uh, the recalculation of oh, yeah. uh, expenses and rec rewards into die. Which is kind of a, a little bit of a juicy topic. And you also put up the, the email weed out, right? Yeah, but that's not a thing. That's just for info. That We don't need to discuss that. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, but this is more about the given structure behind the die. Uh, because I think the debt team, there is not much reluctance uh, on integrating that. They want to do it, but uh, this is about our uh, numbers in the back end to make them die. Man, uh, so China China Air does have Wi-Fi, but it, uh, it, it's very limited. And uh, it, it, it's cool, man. Can you do it without us? No, I, I don't want. I, I want to hear what you have to say. Also, uh, so I'm happy to postpone this Lumio I mean, for I could, like another I could, week. I could make strong comments in there too, but uh, you know, because basically, I I I like I like just moving to 700 die a week for everybody, or 680 or something like that. That's that's pretty much that's my vote. Okay, that's a good one. Uh, actually, my proposal did not include any numbers, so uh, yeah, um, there you go. It's important. important. It was really fast. Made it up fast. Oh. oh. Oh, wow. <laughs> I guess I should pass it. Uh, Michael, do you want to check out? Yeah, uh, good meeting. Uh, I want to check out a few things related to the sweet CRM, uh, in addition to, of course, the number one priority, which is the document on the application with DAP. But uh, yeah, overall good. I'll pass it over to Danny. Awesome. Oh, great meeting. I've kind of been in a meta space visioning and mapping and um, this was a good, uh, gave me some good focus on where to zoom in at to some of those details. Michael, I'd love to catch up with you um, about the CRM and also uh, the dialification just a little bit when you have some time. And I'd also like to get to my unicorn commitment meeting soon. So I'll be reaching out to a few of you about that. And that's all I got. Thanks, everybody. How about Josh? Uh, thank you. Um, yeah, it's a good meeting. Um, glad to see everyone's faces again. Um, it was good to pin Griff down for a time to have a chat and just make sure everything's in order and the direction I'm heading. So. The you know, communications feel fulfilled, um, feel clued in. So I'm going to pass it over to Kay. Yeah, thanks guys for the updates. I uh, also got some little items from this. Um, I just a little shout out to Michael. You still have to uh, 
you got the email, like the email invitation for Soho. If something is wrong with that, just PM me more. And yeah, uh, thanks. And that's it. Give it back to Griff. I think did not go. Yep. Thanks, guys. Uh, I was distracted during this meeting, but uh, it wasn't too bad. And uh, I'm excited to I'm excited to do this monthly newsletter with uh, uh this is I, josh I, i'm so happy this is happening that's like a dream come true oh. so yeah yeah is am i the last one oh cool cool okay bye guys uh, just to let you know, uh, anyone that cares, uh, I think Kay and Griff might. Uh, I think Jeff was organizing it, but it came up somewhere. There is a meeting happening on curation markets workshops by uh, Ryan King from Foam and Apple Rudolph from Convergence Bonding Curves. If any of you are interested in that kind of thing, I can send you the link now. It happens in four minutes ago. Awesome, Maybe you want to post it on uh, Riot. Yeah. yeah. Cool. All right, we'll do. Um, I wish I wish I could make it. I'm sorry, man. I can't. It, it, yeah, it's just one of these things that grabbed off a calendar somewhere and seen it earlier today. You know, and, oh, I want to go to that. So, yeah. yeah. Cool. Um, Thanks, man. Hey, Josh. Yep. By the way, it's it's Kai, not K. <laughs> oh, damn it! Yeah, I keep. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> okay. 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 I Kai. Believe to say that. The correction, though. See you guys. Hey, Chris. Uh, apparently, Web three has new donors.